I'm Jane and I'm Amanda. Welcome, Welcome to Come, Come Downs Down. with me. What's on the menu? What's on the menu? We've got time on the menu this week. Time. time. Okay. Dowsing for time. So do you, if you're, um, or if I'm going out to the supermarket and things, I might douse to see what is a good time to go to the supermarket. So I use I use dowsing and time with that. Um, when you're working with clients, don't you um, douse about time in terms of past time? Do you yes. use that? I yeah. use it with my clients. Yeah, yeah. Um, I use it with um, some of the shamanic mm. practices where you can use time to go back in time to do some past past life healing that's come ancestral healing kind of thing so you can douse to you could douse how many generations you need to go back in your ancestry and then you can douse whether you need to go back on your female line or the male line yeah i do sometimes if we get a core belief and sometimes the, the client is curious to say well this is doesn't feel like mine but it's it's an ancestral one sometimes a client and we i use dowsing then to go back and go okay mum's sat dad dad and we work down the mother line the father line and then we pinpoint which generation and which family member where that core belief started and then it's really interesting because they with their family knowledge they they sort of know that that makes sense so yeah sort of dowsing back in in time is uh yeah i think it's interesting like linking with the core beliefs that um when you when you douse a core belief that it doesn't feel right and it's an ancestral thing because it's been passed down generation to generation because someone said oh you need to be this oh you need to do that or it needs to be done this way you you start to live it uh, it becomes it's in your cells isn't it yeah. so it's it's in your dna and therefore it can be passed from generation yeah. to generation it's fascinating this mm. time and dowsing yeah and i hear that um you've been quite busy with your time well i was i have been i've been using my time and and sometimes it's a question that we all ask where does time go yeah where does it go well here's my new book where <laughs> does time go and uh yeah i've got my new book out so it's a shameless plug on my book where does time go it's my second book after well it's actually this is my first book that i wrote about in 2012 12, I think I wrote it and um, it's I've updated it and it's now in a nice book format. I've, well, it wasn't a paperback before, it's, it was always just online. So now I have a nice book to go with it. Um, but if I'm buying books, talking of books, I will douse to see, that's a nice book, do I want to buy it? So I would actually douse to see whether I needed to buy buy a book or, or not as well. So that's what I, I do that. But yeah, where does, I mean, with, with your time, what you do with your time, Things like, I think it's one, one of the masterclasses, I can't remember if it's six, seven or eight on the dowsing programme. One of them is about looking at how you spend your time in terms of exercise. So you can douse and go and sort of ask the questions. Um, right, okay, these are the exercises I'm doing. You write them down, should I carry on with this? Should I carry on with this? Should I carry on with this? And if you get yeses, then obviously you carry on. If you get no's, then it might be that your body actually needs a different type of movement or a different type of exercise, not forever, but it is worth checking in with you get to that stage where you're doing something and whether it's swimming or running and you're just not enjoying it you can douse and say okay i'm using my time to do this is it can i use it to do something is there something a different exercise a different movement what you need at this time at yeah, this time i can see how that would work and i can see how i could use that for yoga as well and work out how long to stay in a pose even yes can use it in lots of ways yeah. but i guess we time when we're cooking eggs when we're cooking vegetables if you haven't got a timer how long does this need to stay in the oven we've had that on the development group people have got the perfect boiled eggs boiling jam getting the jam to the boiling point and and using the pendulum to to work that out so i'm thinking about it when i was freezing water i was doing the dowsing to see how long the object should stay on it and then how long to leave in the freezer so it's kind of Again, it all comes back yeah. to time. And I guess so much of our lives revolve around time and 24 hours in a day. How many? Well, it's in on here now. How many minutes? 1,440 minutes. Life minutes in a day. That's how many we have. And that's an expression I've heard you use quite a lot. Of times, life minutes. Life minutes. And I really love that, that. That Is it a good use of my life minutes? Because I think you've got to... If you... 
it's like the val the the sort of value of the dash isn't it there's a poem about um, and it's a poem that people use at funerals and it's the value yeah. of the dash so people are born they die and on the gravestones they have the year of birth and the year of death yeah um and so there's a joyous day and there's a, a sad day of sadness and so they're polar opposites but that dash in between it's like what does that dash represent what does what do the that dash is actually represents all of those life minutes so it's not just a dash that dash is so much information for those people and it's um yes yeah, have you so that makes me think about how i want to use my life minutes mm -hmm. am i using them um to the best am i getting the most out of my life minutes from the moment i wake up to the moment i go to sleep and I think that's the thing, it's making the most of your life. And if dowsing does that, what better way to do it? And it helps you, helps you, helps you shortcut it in so many ways. What shall we have to eat? What shall we, oh, what shall we have to eat? The food. And I'm just thinking, I'll put the kettle on. Yeah. It's time to put the kettle on. It certainly is that time. <laughs> we'll see you again. Okay, bye. bye.